This time we're going to be looking at adding text to your dome image. Um, and you might think adding text to your dome image should be pretty easy or just require a simple transformation or something to get it to look right. Um, but because of the spherical nature of the dome screen, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So I thought I would make this quick tutorial on how to get text to the dome. Now, really quickly, a couple of things that I'll be using for this tutorial. First of all, of course, is Adobe After Effects. I'm using the latest version, the 2020 version. The other thing that I'm using is a dome preview tool. This is called Amateris, and it's actually a dome player and preview tool. If you want to use it as a dome player, you'd have to pay for it. But fortunately, the developer has made it free to use as a dome previewer. And so you can see here, I've got a 3D model of a dome that I can click and move around. And we can drop images and even video onto this and get a preview of what that's going to look like in the dome. We can change how we're looking at it. Um, so if we go to camera, this would be kind of a natural view from inside the dome at the center, looking at the front of the dome. Or we can go to overview and get this full overview. All right, so really quickly, jumping back here into After Effects, uh, I've got a square composition here, which if you uh, know anything about dome uh, production, you know that you're going to produce in a square uh, aspect ratio of one to one. And this is a 4K by 4K composition at 30 frames per second. So everything uh, should be correct as far as dome uh, production is concerned. But uh, if you add text by default, it's going to pop up in the middle of this frame. And if you've done dome production before, you know that anything in the middle is going to be right up at the very top of the dome or is the zenith of the dome. So to illustrate this, let's go ahead and look at a couple of uh, bad text examples that I created. So first of all, let's drag the bad text one here. And this is with the text at the very center of that frame. And you can see, as I mentioned before, that it does show up at the very top of the dome. Um, so that means that anybody sitting in here would have to crane their necks back um, to see that text and it also kind of warps side to side down the sides of the dome so not exactly what we want and uh, let's say we were just to move this text down some to the front of the dome which is towards the bottom of the image um, let's see what that would look like so let's go ahead and pull in my second example here and you can see that it does in fact move the text down here but it also uh, does a weird thing to it. It makes it kind of warped um, in this uh, sad face, which uh, makes me really sad. So this is not what we want either. Um, of course, it's doing this because of the curvature of the dome screen. Um, so we're going to use a couple of the built-in VR tools in After Effects to fix this. So let's go ahead and jump back into After Effects. And what I'm going to do to start out with is just make a new composition um, which is going to be a, just a standard 1920 by 1080 composition, normal, uh, HD, we'll just call that HD text, uh, normal HD dimensions. And let's go ahead and add some new text here. And I'll go with my super creative, this is text. All right. And uh, real quick, I'm just going to align this to the center horizontally and vertically. Okay. And so we've just got my text here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dropping this composition into a dome composition and then applying a couple of effects to it to get it to work correctly to the dome. Um, but in this composition, you can do whatever you want. The one thing that I would caution against is going beyond the edges of this composition, because if you do that, you're going to be able to see that edge of the composition. But within this frame, you can do whatever you want. So you could animate this text character by character. Um, you know, you could do, do whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and make our dome composition. So I'm just going to make a dome comp. And this one I am going to make 4K by 4K. So we'll do 4096 pixels by 4096 pixels. Aspect ratio is 1 to 1, 30 frames per second. And let's hit OK. All right, so we've got our square comp here. And like I said earlier, we're just going to be taking our HD text and dropping this in here. So once again, it drops it into the center, which gives us that first undesirable uh, result. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a couple of effects to get that to work correctly. So for the past few versions of After Effects, uh, there have been some tools included that help producers work with immersive video or VR video, 360 degree video, whatever you want to call it we can use those tools to create dome videos as well. So we're gonna apply a couple of effects 
And to find them, if you go to the effects menu and immersive video, you will see uh, this one here, which is called VR Plane to Sphere. And if we apply that, what it's doing is it's basically taking a planar image, so a flat image or composition or text or whatever it might be, and applying it to a sphere and projecting it out onto that sphere. And so what you can see it's doing, it's bulging this out quite a bit, and it's actually outputting a full 360 sphere. It didn't change my composition dimensions to a two to one aspect ratio like you would normally expect a 360 spherical image to look like, but it is in fact doing that. And so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take that from a spherical image and turn it into a hemisphere or a fisheye or full dome output. And so to do that, we go back to our effects menu, go to immersive video, and we're gonna go ahead and use the VR converter. This has uh, an input and an output here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell this that our input is equirectangular two to one. Again, it's not a two to one aspect ratio uh, because it didn't change the, the dimensions of the comp, but it is in fact a two to one being squished into a, a one by one. It's a little bit confusing, I know, but. Uh, so let's change our input to equirectangular two to one. And then our output, we want that to be fisheye, and of course in parentheses here, full dome. So let's do that. And you can see off the bat here, it doesn't look like it's done much, except maybe it's uh, still got a bit of a bulge here. And um, so what we can do here is use the reorient camera view to actually move this down. If you notice, uh, if you click on this and move your box, your text doesn't move. And you have to control this with these reorient camera view or up here, which we'll talk about in just a second, the rotate source uh, controls. So if we use a reorient camera and we just increase that value, you can see what's happening. It's kind of rotating the sphere. Um, you can almost imagine this being a sphere uh, around. And I'm gonna put it at about 60. Actually, let's put it exactly 60 just for fun. And you can see that it's moved the text down to the bottom of the frame, which as we know is where the front of the dome is. And it's also done the opposite of what our flat text at the bottom is doing. So this is uh, going curved down and here it is curved up. Now it's not just a simple curve up though. This is actually projected onto a spherical surface and then being rotated down um, and only outputting half of that spherical surface. So it's doing quite a lot in the background. So if we were to export this, and I'm using another free plugin called uh, FX Console from Video Copilot. This is great just for saving quick frames. So I'm just gonna save a PNG of this as, uh, let's see, new test one, okay. Oh, that's a folder. Let's do this, test one in our new test folder. Sure, why not? So we'll save that to a PNG. And let's go back to Amateris and open up our new test folder and drop this first test in here. And what we'll see right away is that our text looks straight. And in fact, um, you can see there's a, a horizon line here. So you can see that, that horizontal line. And that's where our kind of natural horizon would be. And this is, this is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and go to our overview and see what it looks like from out here. Now the overview, of course, is outside of the dome. So things are gonna look a little bit more distorted, um, but you can kind of see that things are in fact on the front of the dome, um, down right above that horizon, that ground plane. And let's go back to our camera and reset our view. Now, one thing uh, with the view reset, this is as if you were looking directly at the front of the dome. You see that it looks a little bit tilted forward. And what we can do to fix that is if we go back to our After Effects project here, up in the first effect the VR plane to sphere, as I mentioned before, there is this setting called rotate source. And what this does is it actually rotates the source image not the projection like we did here with the reorient camera view, but the source image itself. The controls look very similar to what we were working with down here. We've got tilt, pan, roll. And if we 
change these values here. So if I change the tilt, you can see that the source, the, the text itself, is tilting forward and backward, and so on and so forth. So we could pan around, so we could actually spin the whole thing, or roll the whole thing. Let's see. Roll that around the z-axis, etc. All right. Let's reset this all. Now, from a bit of trial and error, um, and just trying these things out over and over again, I figured out that with the dome in Amateris tilted at 20 degrees. So let's look at the overview real quick. And if I turn this to the side, you'll see that the dome is tilted to the front by 20 degrees. So you can see our, our horizontal plane here and the tilt of the dome. And this is because the dome that I work in, in real life, the, my, the real dome, uh, is tilted 20 degrees to the front. And so I wanted to simulate that. So I put 20 degrees in the tilt here. And so with that tilt, we need to tilt the text a little bit to get it to seem like it's straight up and down. So once again, just with some trial and error, I found that 10 degrees is a good tilt. And if you watch the text here, it'll just tilt backwards a bit. And let's go ahead and export a frame once again. There it is. Save to PNG. And let's make this test too. Okay. So let's go back to Emma Terrace, uh, go to our camera view, just reset it so we're looking forward. And let's drag our test two in. And you'll see that once it loads the image, now this text looks like it's straight up and down. And if we rotate to the left, rotate to the right, uh, there is no distortion at all in this text. This is perfect. What do you want? What, what about if you want to move the text up in elevation towards the, the top of the dome? Uh, you can do that easily. So once again, we can just make our tilt less here. So let's say we want it to be 50 degree tilted and that moves it up. And once again, uh, we'll need to change our source tilt. So again, from some trial and error, I figured out that 20 degrees at this elevation works pretty good. And if we export that, there we go. Save this. Let's test three. Okay. Let's go back to Emma Terrace and load in my test three image. And I'll reset my view. So now you can see that the text is higher, but it still appears straight, which is what we want. So you can go anywhere you want with this. Um, you don't have to use this just with text. Obviously, you can pull in an image uh, and apply the same effects uh, to it, just like we did to this comp. Or you can do even a video if you have a normal HD video. Um, anything you want to put in here, you can. And there's some other settings here, such as feather in the plane to sphere. This just feathers the edges, makes the edges softer. So let's say you had a video that's, that takes up the full image. Um, you could use this feather to soften the edges, uh, to get, to make it not so drastic on the edges. Um, lots of useful things there. And you can even uh, change the composition size of the HD text. You don't have to stick with 1920 by 1080. You can make it whatever size you want. In fact, I made this scrolling text, uh, and I just made it three times 1080 tall, um, and then added some text, used the uh, animator here to animate the scrolling, and then applied a mask that feathers out the top and bottom so that, once again, uh, we don't get that harsh edge as the text leaves the composition. And if we pull that, let's go ahead and turn this off and pull that scrolling text in. Great. Let's move forward. So we got some text here. Okay. And we will once again apply our effects. So let's go ahead and go to effect, immersive video, plane to sphere. And that looks great. And let's go effect, immersive video, VR converter. Change our input to echo rectangular. 
our output to fisheye. And then we can rotate our camera view. So again, let's go to 60. And with this, um, you could even rotate the source to make it seem more like the Star Wars text. You know, it scrolls uh, off at an angle. So we can tilt this quite drastically to the back here. Oops, not too far, otherwise we flip it completely over. But if we were to do that sort of thing, um, you can see that it gives kind of that Star Wars scrolling text feel. So there we go. And once again, this is animated, so we could render out this whole sequence and have scrolling text. All right, so hopefully that gives you uh, some ideas about how to use these VR tools for full dome production. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or anything that I can help out with. And uh, yeah, happy doming.